I know this election has taken some dark, sometimes some very dark turns, which is exactly why I think it's important that we take a step back and reflect on what this election is ultimately all about. Beneath all the ugliness lies a long-running debate between two governing philosophies, one that is in keeping with our nation's founding principles, like freedom and equality, and another, another that seeks to replace them. And so at this time, I would like to invite you to reflect on this choice that we are facing here. Right now, as fractured and as polarized as this country is, a vast majority of Americans, seven out of 10, they agree on something fundamental. They agree that our country is on the wrong path. What vision do Hillary Clinton and her party offer the people? They want what America, that doesn't stand out. They want an America that is ordinary. There's kind of a gloom and grayness to things. In the America they want, the driving force is the state. It is a place where government is taken away from the people, where we are ruled by our betters, by a cold and unfeeling bureaucracy that replaces original thinking. It is a place where the government twists the law and the Constitution itself to suit its purposes. It's a place where liberty is always under assault, where, where passion, the very stuff of life, is extinguished. That is the America Hillary Clinton wants. And if given control of Washington, if given control of Congress, it is the kind of America she will stop at nothing to have. This is the America that the left wants. And if Congress does not stand for this, and a Republican Congress will not stand for this, they will hire unelected bureaucrats to do their bidding and appoint activist judges to do the rubber stamping of their designs.